Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra is the mathematics of digital systems. It is called also the logic algebra. What does it do? It helps you in the design, in the analysis, and the simplification of digital circuits. It is named after the inventor, George Boole. What is an algebra? For example, the algebra of integers. It is a set of elements and a set of operations and a set of rules, postulates, theorems. There is something called the Boolean algebra. It consists of a set of elements, B. It contains at least two distinct elements, X and Y. It consists of two binary operators, which are the OR and the AND, and a unary, unary operator, which is the complement, plus the laws and rules that hold. The two-valued Boolean algebra, the set of elements are the zeros and ones. It consists of two elements in the set. 0 and 1. The set of operators are the AND, the OR, and the NOT, and sometimes denoted as you see here. Okay, the first operator is the AND operator. This is the truth table for the AND operator. Two, it's a binary operator, so it has two inputs, X and Y, and a single output, x ended with y. Okay, anything you end it with a zero is a zero. And the output is one if both inputs are one. Okay, this is represented in digital circuits as an AND gate. It has the two inputs, x and y. And this is the output. Here we should mention that the logic one here, which is the high voltage, which is five volts. Okay, and the logic zero here is the low voltage, which is a zero volt. The OR operator, the true table for the OR operator, it is a binary operator. It works on two variables x and y or two inputs x and y it gives one output x or y anything you or it with one okay is one the output is zero if both inputs are zero this is the circuit for it the or gate the input x is this the input y is this and the output is here the NOT operator, it's a uni operator, unary operator, X is inverted. This is called the inverter. If X is 1, X bar is 0. If X is 0 here, X bar here is 1. Boolean algebra laws. The first law is called the closure. For every x and y in B, x or y is also in B. x and y is also in B. This is the closure. The commutative law for every x and y in the set B, x or y is the same as y or x. x ended with y is the same as y ended with x. This is to say that x or my y or y, this is the output here. It's the same as interchanging these two inputs together. So it doesn't matter where you put your input on this or on this, you get the same output. Here, 
you have the same thing. If you put your input here x, it's the same as putting it here. You get the same result. There's something called the associative law. For every x, y, and z in the set B, x or y or z is the same as x or y or z, which is the same as x or y or z, leaving the parentheses out. Okay, uh, circuit-wise, this is an OR gate here, takes these two, and the output is here. The output is ORed with z, and we get x or y or z. It's the same as taking x alone on this OR gate, and these two are the output of this OR gate. Also, we get x, y, and z, and this is the same as having a three input OR gate, which has x, y, and z. So these circuits are equivalent. The associative law for every x, y, and z in B, x ended with y, parenthesis, ended with zero, uh, with, with z, I'm sorry, is the same as x ended with y and z, which is the same as leaving the parentheses out, x and y and z. So if we take these two into an AND gate, and the result ended with Z is the same as taking these two into an AND gate and ending the result with X. It's the same as having a three input AND gate. The distributive laws for every X, Y, and Z in B. You see here, we are distributing the AND over the OR. So this is equal to X ended with Y or with X ended with Z. In circuit, X is ended with the OR of these two. It's the same as taking two AND gates, okay, and ORing the outputs of these two AND gates together. Okay, the distribution of the OR over the AND. X OR Y ended with Z is the same as X OR Y ended with X OR Z. So, if we take an OR gate and we put X as one input and the output of the AND gate here, the other input, is the same as taking two OR gates, this one and this one, together into an AND gate. The identity element it's the zero and the one. What is meant by the identity element? Zero or X is the same as X or zero, and it is equal to zero. Anything you or it with a zero is the thing itself. So zero is the identity element for the or operation. One ended with X, is the same as x ended with 1 and is equal to x. Anything you end it with 1, for example, x ended with 1, you'll get an x at the output. The complement for every x in B, for every x in B, there exists an element, which is x bar, in B, such that 
x or x bar is the identity element, which is 1. x and x bar is equal to the identity element, 0. Of course, if x is equal to 1, x bar is equal to 0. Anything you or it with 0 is the thing. If x is equal to 1, x bar is equal to 0. You add them together, you get a 0.